hey what's up welcome to new video in this video we will talk about how you can use laravel and Vue to build different kind of projects so this is kind of warm-up video i've been pro procrastinating on making videos for long so so this is kind of warm-up to for uh, coming videos that will be coming uh, i'm going to start a new series so we'll talk about that in a moment but in this video, I want to go through uh, what are the best practice to use Laravel and Vue to build projects. And uh, there are different pros and cons of all of those uh, ways. So first one is whenever you install a new Laravel project, uh, there is an option you, uh, let's, let me go to, let me open up new Laravel 5.7 project okay so if you uh, if you go to the structure of code you get inside your resources JS yes, you get a default component uh, view component uh, and so rest of is a simple Laravel project so one way you can use it uh, like suppose uh, whenever you hit some route and it will load a welcome blade or home or any blade file then uh, in blade file you include uh, anywhere yeah like your component view component for example if example component so you define that component uh, somewhere somewhere here like so and then it is usable in your blade file so that is the w one way so let me show you one example uh, where I built uh, similar uh, using similar technology like using uh, view as a uh, using view component inside a normal Laravel project to make uh, uh, app. So this is the store locator app. So this we built in one of the series you can check out in on the channel. So here, um, whenever uh, we hit home, it will load a component, swap component, and everything will be inside that component. So if you see uh, the code of so whenever a uh, user go to the home uh, route it will load home controller index home controller index and we are loading this view home view so if we go to home dot blade we will see we are just loading one view component swap layout no blade files uh, sorry no all the forms and HTML layout inside the blade file so uh, we let the view take over from here so uh, we laravel will just redirect uh, take us to that blade file and from here we will uh, take effect and uh, so everything that we write on the view component this view component all right so if we go to swap layout component so here everything is so we use all of the code here uh, like uh, whatever we want to show toolbar container everything so so here we use different component to so this is the one map component this is listing component search component so this is the one way to go about building application using laravel and view so uh, another similar kind of application that we built uh, using this way is this uh, chat so whenever someone go to home we load uh, we load uh, this uh, component one single component which will be the wrapper and here whenever someone go to group yeah, so uh, this is the group component I guess yeah so home is the group so if someone go to private so it will take us to the private route and inside there we are loading a different component so uh, home if someone go to private we'll go to home controller and inside here private so we load uh, that blade file private dot blade and here we load the private component and everything will be inside private component so uh, the data required in this private chat component will pass from here. All right, so uh, as a props, we'll uh, pass that to the component, and 
we'll use this data to render everything inside this component all right so yeah so if we need any additional data we will just pass it here like with by fetching it from database so similarly like in previous case we uh, we load uh, everything in view component we do a, a, all kind of logic uh, front end logic on this particular component yeah so this is uh, the one way uh, this is how you go about building an application so another kind of application uh, that you built is single page application where you uh, where uh, you handle all routing on front end so in this kind of uh, um, in this kind of tech architecture you you are just uh, using the laravel routes and those route will take you to the view component but here uh, the routing will be handled on front end part we'll use something like view router which will uh, load different uh, view component so front end is responsible for loading all component so back end uh, will be a different api so let me show you that as well yeah so these two are separate uh, compo uh, project so this is uh, front end web low view and this is api so this uh, we have to build uh, two project uh, so this is pure laravel which will serve as uh, api to uh, which will pass all data to the front end so front end is separate view uh, project so which we built from view cli so yeah here are all component router everything so you can check out this series as well and you have to build api separately so this is uh, the pure laravel project and we built all the api using api resources and everything that required to build api and then authentication we use laravel passport to authenticate and the front end will then re uh, receive token and then pass the token to receive the data all right so this is the another approach uh, where front end will be separate project and back end will be separate so the uh, out uh, shortcoming on this is uh, you need two server or you can serve uh, you have to manage these two separately uh, that might be issue so personally i don't like uh, this uh, very much but uh, if you are planning to build a mobile app and on another uh, so you want to consume that api in different ways then this is the way to go and although you can build uh, you, you don't need these two uh, separate project in different you can build inside a uh, laravel so this front end client so you can build single page application uh, inside your laravel project as well so some some like to separate these two uh, projects separately and then consume api so what i was talking about is suppose this is the laravel project and inside uh, resources assetjs here you can be, uh, this folder will be this folder will serve as a separate project which will consume the api built in same laravel project so they are one category single page application and hybrid so single page application you built uh, you can build two um, front end client separately and api separately or you can uh, use uh, make both in single laravel project front end and back end and another one is hybrid which is uh, just using component to add interactivity on your application uh, yeah just like this so this will be your simple laravel project but uh, you just use component view component for certain part of application where you need uh, interactivity where you want to replace jquery with yeah so personally i like um, this kind of approach uh, where we use uh, component wherever it is required otherwise uh, let laravel uh, take effect of routing and all stuff uh, this kind of single page application are hard to maintain uh, you need to be very careful about facing data and all stuff so uh, talking about next series i was thinking about uh, 
making a boilerplate application like a laravel yeah so this laravel boilerplate which will serve as a boilerplate for your application the idea here is i want to build a sim similar kind of project uh, but uh, which will serve as the starting uh, starting point for our further application like uh, if you want to build something we need uh, admin panel we definitely need user management and other things notifications uh, yeah creating uh, crud and things like that if you see I have installed this locally let me show you so uh, this is the admin panel so I find some uh, issue here not issue but then this is uh, some lack of features like here in user management you can create roles but you cannot manage permissions and create them uh, from here all the uh, other thing is this is using jquery i want to build a similar version using vue.js uh, so a lot of you guys uh, said you hate uh, jquery on these admin panels so I thought uh, I'll make uh, some use uh, make this admin panel uh, using Vue.js and add some more features like some cool data tables, this notification on view, and uh, more uh, robust uh, this user management system and subscription, some chat chatting. Uh, so basically, this will be like a starting point for a big application where you need a lot of uh, already used uh, technologies or frequently used technologies yeah so um, this is the idea for new series uh, which will be the multi-purpose application so let me know what you think about this idea for new series and so i will see you in the next series bye